Hi Wendy, I put together a short video just outlining how we do a few of the basic things like change text, how to get into your blog and how to write a short blog post. Um, right, we'll jump straight into it. As you can see, we're on your site. So to log into your blog, at the end of your address, we put forward slash WP hyphen admin and away we go. And your username is admin and your password well we know your password I won't broadcast it on this video just in case we put it on the internet so let's log in and here we are on your dashboard okay so let's start with how we change the text on your home page and we're looking at these three columns of text here. Now this is the only page that's slightly tricky to amend. So if we go back to your dashboard and we go down to appearance and dandelion options. Dandelion is just the name of this design, this theme that we're using. And I think it's under page settings. Yeah, great. And here we can see first box, second box, and a bit lower down, third box. Now it's quite a cramped little space, but if you hover over the corner, you can drag and pull to make these a bit bigger. Now there's going to be certain parts of this one page that look tricky, i.e. where it says here IMG SRC, which is image source. This just relates to the small images at the top of each box. So we can leave those alone and then we have your text running below there. If you're wondering what these symbols are here with the brackets and the P, these just create a new paragraph. So just separating the small chunks of text. So if you want to have a new paragraph, it's simply put in those and when you finish that particular paragraph you close them off again. And by closing, we just have a small forward slash. Now this is the only page where you need to worry about this. Once you're happy with the alterations, simply click Save Changes, and those changes will be shown directly on your home page. Okie doke. What else do we have here? Oh yes, uh, your sliders. Now, I know last week we've gone through these, we've chosen the right photos and we've added the right headings. But if you decide to edit those in any way, you simply go back to appearance, dandelion options, and the third tab down is your slider settings. Here we have the four sliders that we're using. If you wish to alter them, simply click on the green pencil and you'll see down here the text that will show below. So simply edit that text, hit the green tick to save it, and then click Save Changes. Okay, so that's pretty much the home page covered. Let's have a look at the blog. I won't go into too much why blogging is so important, but adding fresh content will bring in fresh viewers. So let's go back into your dashboard and adding a new article to a blog is actually called a post. So up here in the dashboard we can see posts. Let's go to add new and we can see here our blank post window. I'm going to give this one a quick title of Terry Test. And below, I'm going to pop in some gobbledygook. Great. Now, if you see this window, we have two tabs just over here. We have HTML, which if you're more of a, an experienced geek like me, you can edit the finer details. But if we switch over to visual, 
you'll see something more like an email heading or some of the options you'd be familiar with using the likes of Word. Okay. This small check here, which is your first line of icons and the very end, if you click on there, you're actually given all the options in one go. So let's check that. And we're going to create a heading within our blog post. So I'm going to highlight this word heading here, and I want this to be a bit bigger than the paragraph text. We have six headings to choose from. I'm going to choose heading three. And let's quickly go and grab some text. I'm going to grab some text from an old email of mine jump back onto our blog post and post that in. Great. So we have our normal paragraph text, we have a heading, and now we have some more paragraph text, at the start of which I want to insert a small image. Now if we go back up to our icons up here, just above the bold icon, we can see upload stroke insert. Let's give that a click. And now the computer's saying, great, let's add some new media, which is basically add a photograph. So I'm going to click Select Files. And I'm going to shoot away to find an image. Actually, here's a, an image from a client of mine, their logo. Let's select that. Now this logo is already of a decent size. Uh, I know you mentioned that you've got to grips with Pixlr. But if we can make sure that none of our images that we use are ever above the 800 mark. And in fact, if it is the 800 mark, we have a choice down here of size. We can either choose to keep it at a full size, which will take up a large part of your blog post, or you can bring it down to a nice small thumbnail size. I'm happy with that. So we've got my logo. We can give it a title if needs be. <clears throat> we can also give it an alt text. Now you mentioned about if the user hovers over the picture and they want to see the small block describing what the image is. So I'm going to type in the alt text, higher and glow logo. And if for example, I wanted this picture to link to another website if clicked on, I'm going to link this to bbc.co.uk. You can imagine if this was a picture of a product supplied by one of your suppliers and you wanted your viewers to go to that site if they click on it, you simply do that here. Now when we're happy with those settings, we're going to insert it into post. And in it goes. As we can see, it's been chopped down to fit, but just for the sake of practice, now, I always hate when text butts up directly against an image there with no gap in between. Let's quickly log into our image again, and we're going to do an edit. So if we hover over this first small square, it'll give us a few options again. Now we're gonna have our image aligned to the left. So any text will wrap around the image on the right hand side and underneath. And if I wanted to adjust the size again, I can bring it down by percentages here. You can see it getting smaller and bigger. If we jump across to advanced, in here we can add some vertical space and horizontal space. And horizontal, I'm going to add a 10 pixel gap between the edge of the photo and the text and in this case I'll do the same for the vertical as well. So now we can see in our demonstration here we have a nice gap going around the image. I'm happy with that. Update. Great. So now we have our blog post with our text, our heading, an image and our block of text that will wrap around the image like so. 
and albeit not the best looking post in the world, it is a post. Now over here on the right hand side, we can create categories for our posts. For example, if you had a bunch of posts purely about curtains or a bunch of posts purely about chairs, we can then select the category that this post belongs to. Now, albeit half of these categories might not actually relate to uh, anything that we need. So let's create a new category. I'm going to call this one Terry's category. Add a new category, and there it is, Terry's category. If you can also make sure that uncategorize is checked, that just groups all the posts together in one big long list. Just below the categories, we have tags. Now, this is quite important. This just gives Google a clue as to the content of your post. So I'm going to look at my post and go, OK, so it's about weddings. It's about Terry. Um, it's about, oh, apparently, and Summers and La Senza. I should explain that my client's got an e-commerce site selling these things. And that will do for now. So if I'm happy with those keywords, I can click Add. And we can see down here that it's added those keywords into the Google code for this page. Brilliant. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click Publish. Excellent. Now this post has been added to our site. So if I go across to our live site, do a quick refresh. We can now see that my post article has appeared top of the list. Terry test, got a date, we've got a paragraph text, we have a nice heading, we have our image with a slight margin around the edge, and our text flowing around the right hand side of the image. And that basically is how we write a simple blog post. Uh, is there anything else I can think of right now? Um, I think regards your information pages, your services, you've already made um, edits to some of the text. When you come over today, we'll quickly look at how to add um, some new gallery photos, and I'll talk you through that. But otherwise, we have just reached the 13 minute mark, and I think we've covered the the major issues that you'll need to be tackling over the next week or two. Okay then, Wendy, I hope I haven't bored you too much. I'll leave it there. Thank you.